everyone welcome back this is my first vlog for this year 2020 um, I'm going to bake pandesal pandesal in the Philippines it's a uh, sweet bun so it's a little bit sweet because we're adding sugar but it's really uh, low buns uh, that we call in the Philippines pandesal so let's do it so to begin the pandesal i'm mixing the non-traditional i'm doing whole wheat four cups of whole wheat flour and four cups of the regular white flour so this is a, a mixture of whole wheat and um, this is a test for me i've never done it before with a uh, whole wheat but if you don't have a whole wheat flour what you do is just use the regular flour. So let's start with rising the yeast. Okay. Here are all the ingredients for the pandesal. You need four cups of all-purpose flour and four cups of whole wheat, butter, milk, eggs, sugar. Let's start with the yeast. First thing we do is to rice the yeast so this is a uh, one cup of warm water it's about the temperature of 120 degrees fahrenheit or 110 so and then you add one teaspoon of sugar and then three packages of yeast this one i'm using the quick rice dissolve three packages of yeast so that's what I did three packages just leave it you leave it for about 10 minutes so I'm warming the milk together with the uh, half cup of butter now we're going to put all the dry ingredients together so this is my four cups of flour all purpose flour and then my four cups of whole wheat and then one cup of sugar white sugar and then a teaspoon of salt put it all together and mix them all up so now it's all ready i got the um melted butter with milk i got two beaten eggs and now the uh, yeast is now double in size ready to go and then i made a hole in my flour this is the, all my dry ingredients so now we're gonna put our yeast mixture add it with your dry ingredients Slowly add your egg and butter and milk together. So you add it in your flour mixture with the yeast mixture. So slowly you add it and pour it nicely, slowly. I'm not using mixer because I don't have a standing mixer if you do have it it would be nice no need to have a mixer you can do this using your hand so now I what I done is put oil in this uh, clean bowl because I'm going to knead it a little bit like that so you have flour here here's your flour and then just go like this see you don't need a mixer there you go <laughs> and this will rise make sure it's 
double in size. I'm gonna leave it probably two to three hours, I believe. We'll see. But make sure it's double in size. Cover it with saran wrap and you're good. Two hours later, look what happened. The dough is more than double in size. I'm going to knead it now and uh, punch it. Mm. We're gonna work on it. So what happened is if you punch, there you go. Now it's going down. There you go. And we're gonna make the buns, the pan de sal. I have the uh, the counter, the the board, it's my board with a flour. So you you're gonna knead it, pound it. See, cut this into four. So each one and then you're gonna need breadcrumbs so you need about half a cup of breadcrumbs or less so you just put it there and then you put breadcrumbs and here's your bread So here it goes. It's all ready to proof again. You gotta let it sit again and let it rise for an hour, an hour and a half. So until it's doubled in size again, and then you bake it. So I have two, um, 24 here, two dozens plus two dozens. So I have four dozens of buns pandesal okay ready to go in the oven later so here we go it's now doubled in size i'm ready to bake it after 15 minutes voila the bread is ready <laughs> guys thank you for watching i hope you will try it it's not hard to do, it just takes a long time because you have to proof uh, twice. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you everybody. Bye!